Hi everyone, I am Rosemary from The Unfinished Lesson, and this is a quick win series on finding balance between routine and flexibility. I'm gonna include links to the previous videos, parts one through four below. We've taken a look at setting up warm-up routines, end of lesson routines, planning, and administrative time. We need all of these when we're running a studio. And so if you haven't watched those videos, by all means go below, make sure you watch them. I've got quick activities or tasks for you that will help set you up for success this year. In this fifth video, we're gonna take a look at setting up some time for fun. I know, all the other videos were about all the things we have to do, and now I'm talking about fun. Well, here's the thing, it isn't just our students that need to have fun. If everything's really serious, you know, and very, you know, I have to do this. What's the point, right? If you're running your own business, you should have some fun sometimes. Otherwise, you're going to burn out. And if you work for someone else, you still want to have some fun because otherwise you start to resent your job. And none of us want that, right? So there's a few things that I'm going to recommend you do. One, Try out new music, even if you don't think you'll like it. This generation of students, they want a lot more say in what they're doing. And they're, they probably will come to lessons with, I wanna learn this song, or look at this song I learned. We need to have a pretty wide base of music and styles and genres that we play so that we can help our students. What I also recommend is understanding that tech is here to stay. I think we've learned that recently, that even if we want to teach in person, there are certain aspects of technology that make things a lot easier, but also safer. So we need to get familiar with it. One of the ways to do this is embrace your inner toddler. I know that sounds really weird, but it's actually what I did in the last year and a half. So I jokingly say, I will look at buttons and I will go, ooh, I wonder what that does. Click. Now, what I would recommend is if you change settings in a program, write down what they are first, then press buttons. Um, that way, if you wanna change it back afterwards, it's all good. I have pressed a lot of buttons in different programs. I can assure you that I, none of my devices have exploded nothing has died, and I've been able to fix every problem that has arisen if I've pressed a button. So embrace your inner toddler. It's way more fun than being scared of the technology, or um, we can even apply this to other things, right? We can apply this to new music. We can apply it to new programs. So for example, if we're looking for ways of becoming more efficient in our admin time, maybe we realize that there's a time drain on a particular task and whatever program we're using is just not cutting it anymore. Maybe you're sending invoices for tuition manually each month and then you're having to chase down the payments. Use your time for exploring just in a fun way Take a look at different programs. Look at your criteria and then do research, you know? It doesn't have to be anything super serious, but you can just take a look. And uh, I have a post-it note actually just over there. I was looking at some programs and it was so satisfying to just go X on the ones that didn't work and then a check or a question mark for the ones that I was looking into further because you're setting aside a certain amount of time, you don't have to worry about it taking forever. And if you don't make a decision in that particular time frame, that's okay. Remember, this is a fun time for you to try different things. Um, the reason we wanna do this, not just because we wanna embrace our inner toddler, though seriously, it is fun. We also wanna make sure we don't get into a rut. If we get into a rut, that's when we start feeling blah. It's when we lose job satisfaction. It's when things just feel meh, right? Or we get burnt out. So we always wanna make time for fun in our weekly routine. 
All right, so here's what I would like you to do before you go on with the rest of your day. I would like you to make time in your schedule each week for something fun. Now, for this week, once you've set that time in your schedule, I want you to write down one thing that you're going to do, whether it's researching something for maybe the admin side of things, maybe it's trying out new music, maybe it's testing out some technology and just seeing what different buttons do, or maybe it's even just playing some music apps that you're thinking of using with your students. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. All right, have an incredible day. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And the reason for that is each week I'm doing a quick win series so that you can have more balance in your life and more creativity in your studio. Looking forward to hearing from you in the comments.